but you can't live in you can't walk in other people's shoes and i'm talking about the media i'm talking about ex-players i'm talking about fans you can't walk in other people's shoes i was talking to adam about this and uh, it's an important point we've still got some of ollie's stuff to come through but talking to adam about this on the channel because he's lives in manchester and we were having a chat and i said you know what i'll never ever discredit the fact that if you are a manchester united fan from manchester it's different it must be great because you have a connection to the city and the football clubs within that city and it's a it's, it's a different way of supporting it doesn't make you i don't think it makes you a better fan i know fans from manchester who, who know next to nothing about football they love united or city but they don't really know loads about football like somebody from america or swindon might but it's a different thing isn't it I suppose it's a bit like supporting your country you know, if you're English and you really like England, you've got that attachment. If you're, if you're from Manchester and you support Manchester United, you've got that attachment. So, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, I think it's different when you support a club from Manchester, but um, if you're born in the place. But for me, I've lived in Nottingham. I now live in the Midlands. I lived in Dublin for three years. I think you just become, you know, there's no there's no there's no there's no real home for me it's like there's, there's no boundaries like i can go to america i can go to ireland i don't feel like it's home i just enjoy my life and i think some people are quite insular i suppose and closed off um probably not explained it very well but you know i don't see anthony martial as different to marcus rashford i don't see luke shaw as different to paul pogba they're, they're, they're footballers that play for manchester united um, anyway, he was asked about pressure. Was Is he under pressure? He said something about Arteta that we have to get used to it. Why? Don't use Arsenal, Ollie. The worst thing you can do when you're under pressure is, is compare yourself to Arsenal. But um, he said um, we're focused. Um, and then he went into social media and he said, look, in relation to social media, you've got to put your hands up and expect it. Um we're in this um, situation where, um, you know, the result's not good and you've got to you've got to expect that sort of opinion. Um, so really env envy the Leicester owners. Sometimes if we hit owners half as decent and caring as them, United would have been miles ahead, says Saraj. Uh, I know we are Manchester United and still one of the biggest clubs in the world, but honestly, when Oli goes, what manager in the, the right frame of mind would want to walk into this train wreck? Mate, they'll be queuing up. Conte wants to come, Colin, straight away. I, I don't agree with players not wanting to come to United or managers not wanting to come to United because players and managers are very egotistical and they will see United. I, I personally would... I'd rather take the United job than the Newcastle United job. I'd rather take the United job than the Liverpool job. I'd rather take the United job than the City job. Obviously, I'm a United fan, so I'd want to anyway. But even if I wasn't a fan of United, I'd still take the United job. You know why? Because we've got a huge club. We've got a huge fan base. We've got a great squad and I think we're a good manager away from being a really good team. But we're on our knees and what better job to take on than one that if you get back from being on your knees, everyone's going to call you amazing. So loads of people who fancy that. Um, loads of people who fancy that. But um, yeah, Ollie did sort of go, I, I, was, I was a bit worried for a minute. I thought he was going to try the whole have a go at social media thing and he didn't. He said that, look, you've got to expect, you've got to put your hands up and expect you're going to get, you know, bad opinion after a bad result. But he went on the Pogba thing and he said, you know, Paul came up to me and he was really unhappy with, with the lies uh, that had been written about him. And uh, we can't expect the lies. You know, you can, opinion, opinions are fine, but we can't have the lies. And I thought, bit of spin, bit of spin.